In this video, I will discuss moving boundary work. So in our real life, um, we are familiar with different types of uh, mechanical work. So I would like to discuss a common work like the automobile engine. So let's consider a piston cylinder device. So what actually happened um, in piston cylinder device? Let's say this is a cylinder and we have the piston here like this. So during the process, um, actually two things happen. One is the, you know, the expansion, right? One is the expansion and the other is compression. You all know this. Uh, so these two things happen. So during this process, uh, this piston actually, you know, go down and go up. So this is actually the expansion and compression and the work done by this expansion and compression. So sometimes this piston is just going down, sometimes it's going up. So this expansion and compression, the work done by expansion and compression is called moving boundary work or boundary work. And we're going to discuss this today. So in real case, that, that means for real engine, um, it is really hard to especially from thermodynamics point of view, it's really hard to calculate the moving boundary work for real engines because, uh, you know, the gas actually, you know, the piston piston in the real engine, it moves very high, very, you know, in high speed and that's really, it's really com hard to get the equilibrium conditions uh, for that cases, especially for inside the, you know, the, the cylinder. So, what we will do in this section, we will discuss this problem and we will consider this is as a quasi-equilibrium process and will the quasi-equilibrium process means, you know, the system will be nearly equilibrium condition at all times and it is actually valid when the, you know, the velocity, uh, when the piston moves slowly at low velocities. So then we can only expect some equilibrium condition. It's not complete, but we said it's quite the equilibrium process. It's nearly in equilibrium. All right. So uh, here, actually, what will happen, guys? We will consider this is the cylinder. This is the piston. We have the gas here. P is the pressure. It is absolute pressure. It is always positive. The pressure is acting this way, and this pressure actually, you know helps to move or expand this piston uh, so it's you know it, expansion is happening this pressure is just working on the surface here a is the area we got the force a so due to this pressure we got a little displacement ds so we say this is um, some differential term ds so the displacement so now what we can say uh, if we want to calculate the work due to this expansion here the, this is the differential work during this expansion, this displacement ds. What we can write, we can say d um, w. W is work. D is the differential term. It is equal to the force and displacement. We don't. We all know the definition of this work. So this is actually the force and displacement. Now, um, when you did fluid mechanics or other subjects, you did some physics, chemistry in your uh, high school. So you know uh, force. It is equal pressure and area isn't it look here guys this is actually the pressure this pressure is we are applying this pressure on this surface so this area is a so it is actually the force so force is pressure and area substitute this value here it will be dw pa and ds and this area and this displacement it is actually the differential term of the volume so that means what we got here it is actually interesting see dw equal pdv so this is the work the differential work done during the process especially during the expansion it is equal to the pressure the absolute pressure and the differential uh, changes of the volume so pdv and um, now the question is I said earlier this pressure is always positive this is absolute pressure it is pressure is it is always positive but this dv okay it changed 
So during the expansion, the volume actually increase. So volume is increasing during the expansion process. When it is compression, volume decrease. So the fresh dV, it will be positive during expansion. It will be negative during the compression. So it is positive during expansion, negative during compression. So positive means, that means the, the work done during the expression it is positive, the work done during the compression is negative. So now if we want to consider the total of work done, let's say we have this schematic here, this is the cylinder, we are using this um, figure as the horizontal directions. And look, uh, the pressure is we are applying in this way, this is the piston, uh, this is the PV diagram, all right? Um, we are considering the whole process, the path, that means from uh, initial stays to the end of the process. We say this is initial one is uh, one, the end of the process is, we, we defined it is as two. So at one, the volume was V1, two, volume V2, and here we have the differential area dV. So this is, you know, the dV, this section, and we say this area dA, it is equal P, the pressure into this differential, the volume dV. So, what we can write guys, if we consider the whole process, so previously what we got, dW it is equal P dV, let's say this is equation 1. Here, this is the, uh, the differential work, but if we want to get the total work, okay, if we want to get the total work done by this process, then we need to do actually integration, dW and this P dV. So, um, here our process is from section 1 to 2. So, it will be just limit 1 to 2. And you know, integration differentiation are, are just, they are opposite to each other. So, this integration sign, this differentiation sign, they will cancel out each other. So, here it will be this work W equal 1 to 2 P dV. So, we can say this is equation 2. Okay. So, this is equation 2. So in this case, uh, what we what we got here, you can see this is equation one, this is equation two. Now, let's say um, if actually what we found here, this is the differential area, and this differential area we got it is PdV. So if we uh, consider this quasi equilibrium expansion process in this PV diagram, and if we calculate the differential area which is equal to PdV. So now let's um, calculate the total area. We know the differential area, but what is the total area? So that's the important. So if we calculate the total area, let's say the total area. So we got the, we will say total area is A. How we will get that? We will integrate this differential area. So this is integration of 1, 2, 2, dA. You can ask me why you're using 1, 2, because uh, it is actually the, we are considering this process path, 1 to 2. And we know dA, it is equal PdV, PdV. That means we get A equal integration of 1 to 2 PdV. Let's say this is equation 3. Now look guys, this is equation 3 and this is our equation 2. You compare these two equations. Equations 2 and equation 3. See, W equal 1 to 2, P with the right hand side of this equation 2 and equation 3 same. So that means that side, the area under the, the this process curve, so this area, area under this process curve on this PV diagram, it is equal in magnitude to the work done during this quasi equilibrium process. So that's the most important uh, findings here. So another thing is, you know, when this actually happening, gas is you know moving from one point to another point, it could travel through different paths. So it could go this way, this way, this way, and depending on this path, the total work will be different. It is actually all about the area. If we consider this path, we have more area here. If we consider this path, we have then less. If we consider this, we have more or less area and you see it actually 
related with the total work done. So that's really important. And finally, if we actually consider this figure here, look, what is happening? This is a complete cycle. So from, it is happening from, you know, this one to two and this two to one. So we say this is A, this is B. So in, in general, um, the work done during this process path, it will be higher because you see the area under this path, it is higher than the area under this path. Look, if we have this path, that means we have the area like this. And if we consider this path, then let me use different color. So the area is like this. So that means for area for path A, it is greater than area for path B, isn't it? So that means, um, you know, during the expansion, during this expansion, the air, uh, you know, the, the network done by this uh, process, especially for this path, it will be higher than the process B and the total, total, the work done, it will be the difference. That means inside the circle, this circle. So it will be, you know, the difference between the two path, which is the network done during the cycle. This is actually the shaded area. So that's actually the network done during a cycle um, is the difference between the work done by the system and the work done on the system. I'm telling again, it is actually the work done by the system and the work done on the system. Now you can ask me, what is the system and what is by the system on the system. I will make another video for uh, you know, the work and heat transfer and you will get clear understanding there.